And I, I called up the son to interview him. He was not as forthright as Dr. Blum's son. And, you know, he hung up on me and said, if you, if you ever contact me again, I'll, you know, they have very serious privacy laws in Germany. I thought about going and knocking on his front door. My lawyer was like, Annie, do not do that. They have very different laws in Germany. For privacy. Yes. Even if For you're issues like the that. son of a Nazi. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Well, I, I would imagine, look, if he didn't do anything, he shouldn't be responsible for what his father did. No, but he has the villa. That was the point. Right. He had all the money. Right. right. And he got that money from his father who got that money from stealing it from people. Yes. During World War II. Yes. Yeah. Like what happens there? Yes. But if you go back to that, like we should really find out who had the plantations in America and uh, who benefited from that. Like go several generations from there. I mean, you could get weird with, with war. Reparations and with, are with big. Evil deeds where people profited. Yeah. I mean, which is sometimes a reason why you, I realize in looking at these, in reporting these books, which is why certain things are kept secret. I mean, mm -hmm. they open up a whole can of worms about reparations. Sure. You know. Yeah. Wow.